Okay, here goes a new painting, Carmel River. I've seen this before. <laughs> I get a motif, I work it. I give up on a good composition. So how do I paint? I just put it down. I'm very... I don't think about it. When I'm at the painting stage, I just throw water and pigment down. And I let it figure itself out. If I try to get too clever, I come up short. So I let it go. Watercolor is the perfect medium for lead and go, man. If you can't lighten up with watercolor, but you gotta be careful. The paper is the light. It must be protected. Protect the light. Young Jedi. So this is what am I throwing down here? I think this is some winds of blue <laughs> and nothing's labeled anymore and for sure there's some Payne's grey in here which is something I use quite rarely but I'm in a Payne's grey kind of mood I want to tone back the colour just a hair here and there on this painting so this is a line art that I've developed from many traces and vectorized and now I have it as an asset I call them my art assets. If a tree falls in the woods and no Hang on. More importantly, if a man walking in the forest alone is talking to himself and there's not a woman there, is he still wrong? <laughs> That's an old one. Yeah, graphic assets. Or photo or art acids and uh, and then you can build off of them you know you can you can create this is actually this is uh, watercolor paper that I pulled from my uh, Strathmore pad which is gummed around the sides I really like those and and I cut it to eight and a half by eleven and I it my printer a lovely Epsom ink well printer. I'm kind of letting myself go a bit loose here. I don't mind if I'm out of lines. I'm going to be a little bit just more kicking it with this. I don't know where this is what's going to go. This is either going to be like fun or it'll be you know trying to do something. It's all good. And uh, see I really feel like just being loose because I've painted this thing about four times. So this is going to be a bit different. And yeah, so so I, I ran it through my, my printer, which is pretty cool. Didn't know that was going to happen. And it did, it took it. I guess the weight is just about right. What is the weight of this? This is 140 pound. So that's pretty good. Epsom, well done. Letting that go through. I bought some heavy stock just recently and that didn't happen at all. But this is good. And now I'm not loose again. That's alright. See what happens. I have a tendency to rush these videos. Okay. We're going to start wandering here. I don't even know why. There we go. Kind of going into some purples. Poiples. Look at that. And there's some. Oh, yeah. A little splash just there. Feels like it wants to come even redder down here, so I'm gonna dip into some of this. There we go. You gotta keep the edges wet. That's the thing, so you don't get those little marks coming in. They're alright if you want them, but I like to keep the edges. You gotta keep it moving, which means 
you end up with a nice sort of dynamic you go a little stand a little bit of time see just there for a moment but that's about it especially when it's a warm dry damn hot day like it is here in Fresno that's pretty I like that uh-huh didn't know that was gonna happen see so that's what happens when you just kind of like start throwing the stuff down and and don't be afraid to screw up the painting it's all about just having fun with it and seeing what happens oh, see right there throw some water in there now but I don't like that okay that's all right it's all good don't f mess around with it too much either to the less you can do with watercolor you try and get it down first time you can't always you know it's all right to come back in there but our people build their watercolors most people build their watercolors up in layers subtle layers and that's very nice I do that sometimes but I, I like the spontaneity of just loading up a brush and <laughs> throwing it down and 